E-commerce businesses like Amazon generate around 35% of their revenue from product recommendations. If properly used, product recommendations help you increase the average order value and the net revenue. The WooCommerce product recommendations plugin from WebToffee is the perfect solution for you. To set it up, log into your WordPress admin account and proceed to Plugins. Add new. Click on Upload Plugin and choose the zip file received after purchasing the plugin. Tap on Install Now and then on Activate Plugin. The plugin is now activated on our site. So, let's start adding product recommendations to our e commerce store. For that, navigate to WooCommerce Product Recommendations. Here, we can see the templates for the common WooCommerce product recommendations required for all stores. Each template is fashioned in such a way that you can implement it directly without any additional configurations. Let's go to the General Settings page and configure how the recommendations should be displayed. Choose the display layout as either grid or slider. Since slider is selected, Choose if you want to show the products inside the slider in a loop. Specify the number of products to be shown per page on desktop, tablet, and mobile view. If you want to limit the number of products in the recommendations grid, specify the appropriate number here. Select the alignment of the recommendation slider title and choose the title color. If you want to dynamically remove out-of-stock products from the suggestions, check this box. Click on Update Settings to save the configuration. Go back to the Product Recommendations tab to create a recommendation. For now, let's create a custom product suggestion grid. So, click on the template Create Your Own Product Recommendation. As an example, we will create a recommendation campaign for upselling. Upselling, in simple terms, means recommending products that are more valuable when browsing for the basic version of a similar product. Here, provide the title of the recommendation section. This will also be the title of this campaign. Now, select the page where you want the recommendation to appear. Since upsells are to be shown on the product page, we don't have to change the configuration here. Choose the location on the product page where you want to place the recommendation widget. Let's go with above product description. You can make use of filters to generate product recommendation rules. Recommendations for each product will be dynamically generated, adhering to the set rule. Here the first criterion should be to recommend products whose category is the same as that of the currently viewed product. The recommended products should also have the same tag as the primary product. An attribute option to help you match the primary product attribute is also available. But let's not use it in this example. Now configure the rule relative price greater than 10%. This ensures that only the products whose price is between 100% and 110% of the primary product will be recommended as upsells. Next, let's define when the recommendation should be shown. This criterion ensures that the recommendations would only be displayed for the product blue pants. This configuration means that recommendations will only be displayed for products belonging to the category accessories. Let's not use any and make the recommendations visible on all product pages. Now select how you want to sort the products in the suggestions. For this example, let's select Popularity High to Low. Now click on this button to save the configuration. The Manage Recommendations option will take you back to the plugin landing page. You can see the created recommendation here. You can disable, edit, or delete the campaign with these buttons. For now, let's preview the custom recommendation we have generated. It is visible on product pages of individual products above the product description. The recommendation section will have the title that you have provided, and the suggestions will be displayed on the slider. All the products displayed will have the same category and tag as that of the primary product. Also, the price of these products will lie between $100 and $110, since the price of the primary product is $100. If you found this helpful, please like the video and feel free to drop any queries you have in the comments below.